So if you remember nothing else from this session today, remember that we are wired to feel before we think. We are wired to process something emotionally before our cognitive system can necessarily catch up. So let's think about how that system functions when we're somewhere where it serves us. So let's say you're in the jungle. And I know you don't spend a lot of time in the jungle, but go with me here, because that's a good metaphor. You're in the jungle, and a tiger jumps out at you. Within 85 milliseconds, your amygdala will sense the threat from the tiger and immediately cause a cascade of chemicals in your body, blood moves to the major muscle groups, your heart rate increases, your breathing shortens, you're ready for fight or flight. In addition, the amygdala releases chemicals into your brain that reduces that working memory. It reduces your ability to think a complex thought. Have you ever heard yourself say, oh, I was so angry I couldn't think straight? Or have you ever had a difficult conversation with a partner or spouse and 20 minutes later thought of all the good comebacks? <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> or apply that in a business setting. You're in a business setting. You're trying to influence. You're sharing an idea. Somebody senior is challenging you. And after them, you think, oh, I wish I'd said this and I wish I'd said that. Why didn't I think of these things? Because you'd literally lost your ability to think complex thoughts, to use the best of your IQ and cognitive abilities. Well, why would the amygdala not want you thinking complex thoughts in that moment? It's fighting tigers. You don't have time to think, gee, how can I best collaborate with the tiger? <laughs> well, what was that engagement strategy that I learned? No, it wants you to react right away. When that happens, when the amygdala triggers, senses a threat, releases chemicals in our body and our brain, we start to move to a default behavior whatever we've learned to survive. 